I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, do we have a motion to approve today's agenda? I'll make a motion to approve the agenda for today as presented. Second. Okay, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Um, approval of the minutes from January 9th. Move to approve. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Approval of claims for payment. I'd make a motion to approve the claims as, uh, for payment as presented for the payable date of January 16, 2019. Second. All right. I, um, and if this is the, I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning, I would like to reconsider the claim that was submitted by the Emergency Management Department for a coffee pot and supplies for the Emergency Operations Center. It's the one we pulled out. Yes. If you're asking that to be put back in. Um, I talked to Dave McDaniel on this, and he said that they're that they are working on plans to get to be able to use that for trainings and various meetings and that type of thing um, here eventually. So this is all things. I mean, toilet paper, paper towels. It is a coffee maker, um, but I would like to have that. I mean, I just want to wanted to bring that up and reconsider because if we're going to pay it, we need to pay it. And yep. if we're not, um, we need to make that decision rather than do continuing to hold. Do you want to amend your motion to add that yeah, to it? I'll amend my motion to add the claim for emergency management EOC center supplies as presented by uh, Tom Creighton. I will second. Okay. Any further discussion? Um, Sixty-two fifty-one, and that included um, napkins, <coughs> filters, um, toilet paper. I don't know what black silk is, whatever. Um, but and then I think I was thinking, yeah. So it's like kitchen type supplies and and bathroom supplies. All right. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Now, now call it for the entire motion. Okay. Yes. Um, so, is there a motion to approve the claims with the amended with me the amendment? So moved. Second. We've already had that motion. You just got to call yep. the vote. Oh, all right. All those in favor. Aye. 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 Okay. Open bids for the financing of the courthouse HVAC system. So, I signed it. And you signed it. So okay. That would mean it's a time in it. Okay. Okay, well, it'll be a while. You want to go to the chain? Oh, never mind. Pauline? Do you want to explain that to everyone, what that exactly is? Because I thought that was just, I understood that it was just heating and cooling, but now it's going to include that entry it doorway and everything, <coughs> and the other doorways are all going to be sealed off? Eventually. I don't know if that's going to happen immediately, um, but yes, there we are going to extend the west entrance. East. The east, east entrance, I'm sorry. East entrance out, and eventually that's going to be the single point of entry for the courthouse, and there will be, eventually there will be um, security equipment out there, just like if you've ever gone to the state capitol, and there's some of the other courthouses that have put, that have in installed all this. It's the court systems that are kind of driving this, that are asking for additional 
courthouse security. So, so that's included in the plans so that at the same time they're, we're doing all the construction in here, that can also be added. So that will be added into the cost of this then? Yes, it's all included in the amount that we originally approved to be financed. I think it's 1.8 million and it's all, yes. So the cost of that is already included in that. It's not going to be above and beyond. It's going to be within that dollar amount. Okay, and that's 1.8 million. Yeah, was the maximum that we can that we can finance for the project for the entire project. So then, what are we all going to like install then in there? Are we going to install like a? Can't answer that today. Right. Um. Nick Whitmore from the, the jail has provided us um, quotes or bids for those, not really bids, just estimates for those machines that would go in there, um, which would be where you would have a conveyor, which would be for your briefcases, your purses, whatever, and then also a metal detector that you would walk through or whether we do a handheld, whatever, it will eventually come to that. There's been no decision made as to whether we do that now or whether we do that years down the line. Um, right now for high um, security court cases, we already use a metal detector to get into the courtroom upstairs and it would eliminate that and it would be like going to Blackhawk County or like I said the state capitol. There's other counties that have this and all the judges are it's just one of those things where <coughs> we want to make sure that we have what we need for our courthouse because now and then it comes up as far as combining courthouses or combining courts, taking the courts out of a courthouse. Um, I personally feel that if we have the equipment already installed and they're looking at um, sharing courtrooms or courts, court systems, um, that will already be a step ahead of surrounding counties that they might need, they might consider us joining with. So to me, it's kind of protecting our court system here for future, for the future. So, Julie? Security, heating and cooling, separate issues. Shouldn't that have been separate if you were going to do that? I mean, you don't even know what exactly you're going to do in here now. You have money for something you don't know what you're, what. You we know exactly what the building is. We know exactly. We just went through the, the drawings with the architects and. The fact that you have included all the security stuff, which seems to be a, a different topic into this bid for air conditioning, heating, cooling. Why didn't you separate those? Uh, because now you have just... Because well, if we, we would be taking what bids... We're do, but by golly, we have some... some we know what we're doing for the structure and the expense, expense <coughs> part. When we, we know what eventually we're going to be doing. Why did you not separate them? It's probably cheaper to do all this once because we have to do publications for both if oh, we're going to be financing. So... Yes, Let's publications, These are two different and things. you would get a better rate. Separated, but thank you, for you would get a better interest rate um, on one dollar amount versus yeah, two other it. amounts. Okay, so now do we have a letter open? Daryl's not here to review all this. Of course, today we're just opening these, and they will be <coughs> will be making the decision on at Friday's meetings. So, okay, Greenbelt Bank and Trust. We received a, a bid for for up to 1.8 million, um, a 10-year maturity, and annual payments. It's at 4.05 fixed for 10 years. Is that compound or simple? Okay. 
Oh, uh, there's option one. Okay, that is, I'm sorry, let me see. For option one, it's the 4.05 for, for 10 years. For option two, um, it's 3.75 fixed for the first five years, then fixed for five years at 2% above the five-year treasury rate. The second one? The option two? Um, it's the same maturity, 10 years. The interest rate for the first five years is 3.75%. And then it's fixed for five years at 2% above the five-year treasury rate. That one was adjusted. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Two percent above the five-year treasury rate. Are they offering an amortization schedule and any? Um, That's all we received. No, that would probably be once the decision is after. made, then they would have that. Will there be we would an get early further. payment penalty? Um, right. It will depend on the bank. So. Right. Yeah, we can we can talk to both before then, I suppose, or I can give them a call. Um, Great Western Bank here in town. Let me see. And it's for the. Courthouse and ancillary facilities, borrower, Hardin County, amount 1.8 million, um, term 10 years, the rate is 4.1, fixed, annual principal and interest. Um, it's subject to the following, receipt of an annual opinion letter from Hardin County Legal Counseling stating that the interest received qualifies as tax exempt for federal purposes and form 8038 to be provided by Hardin County and bank Number three, the bank's credit underwriting. So those will be, these will both be considered and any additional questions we, you know, we can individually call the banks. That one should also include amortization, amortization and mm -hmm. so. so anyway, these will be considered mm -hmm. then on our meeting on Friday and that is at 10 a.m. here in the, co in the meeting room. Two is all we got, right? Yes, we only received two. All right. Chains of... Renee, Donna had a question. Oh, yes. I would like to offer the thought that a fixed rate would be a safer bet and much easier to budget than anything that includes um, an adjustable rate. Well, I especially th in this mm -hmm. financial world we have now. Thank you. All right, change of status for the conservation department. <coughs> I'd make a motion <coughs> uh, in the change of status for David Horton, who's an interpretive program assistant. It is a pay increase uh, from $18.38 an hour to $20.19 an hour, effective January 16th, 2019. Second. Any other discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Yep. How long has he worked for them? Davis? He's worked for us about going on three years now. Thank you. Next, I'd like a motion 
to accept the resignation of Cardi, Cody Barloon, who is a conservation tech. Uh, he was being paid the rate of $17.31 an hour, effective. Uh, his last day of work was January 9, 2019. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Motion carries. Sheriff's monthly report. I'll move to approve the Sheriff's monthly report of December. I'll second that. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 The resolution for revision of policy for transport of human remains. Um, this is a resolution that has not been updated since 2011, and we have um, are proposing an increase to the the funeral homes for the transportation of um, bodies upon death. Um, either from the scene to the funeral homes or to uh, or for autopsies <coughs> so consider that this time I'll make a motion uh, to approve the resolution in consideration of the revisions of the policy for tr transporting human remains I will second <coughs> is there any other discussion all those in favor, say aye. Roll call. Oh, I'm sorry. CJ. Aye. 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 Utility permits and secondary roads. <coughs> you have a one big, that's one big utility permit there in front of you. Um, boy, I it, it's already on again. They came last year. They haven't done it yet, but they were going all the way through the county. So this one starts at S27 and D25. They're going north through Alden then following the county line all the way out. Okay. That's a big one. I'll make a motion to approve utility permit 1-16-19 uh, as presented by Arion. I will second. Any further discussion? Providing they got the same permits for, for drainage. drainage. Yes. Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Public comments. Bob. You have a question. I noticed on the agenda you don't have anything about the master matrix resolution. Right. Not yet. So it will when be. When is that going to happen? Um, it has to be filed by January 31st. So yeah. um, I'm still talking with the county attorney regarding that on, on some questions. And procedures. So, well, is there still going to be time to do it if we wait another week? Sure, we can do it on the thirtieth. I don't know if I can ask this question, but what makes it so different this year than any other year in any other county? Personally, um, there haven't been any changes in the matrix. Uh, when we do have public hearings. I don't really hear a lot of new information. It's always the same, same arguments and so on. Um, and I just think that we need to look at, we haven't updated our procedures for public hearings, and that's what I'm kind of working with, with Daryl on. So as far as um, changes for public hearings. So I, I guess part of it is if, if it's chosen not to do it, which sounds like there's some question you're going to. Well, I'm not going to, I'm not speaking for the other I two. I didn't say that. I'm saying okay. I'm, I'm okay. asking a question because this is what I'm thinking and what I've heard from other people is if it's <coughs> denied and you don't want to do it, then there's no meetings for them or nothing and there's no say about it or anything? Correct. It would be left up to the DNR. So, Hardin County, people wouldn't have anybody speaking for them or representing them or nothing? It would be kind of like leaving them out in the cold? I don't know that that's even being, I mean, I'm, I don't know what the outcome of the vote would be, um, but we need to look at, or I need to look at procedures for public hearings. We need to do some updating there. But yeah, you're correct. If there was no 
no um, resolution passed, yes, it would just go to the DNR and there wouldn't be anything here. We would still have the opportunity to send comments on, on, on them. So it's just. So most people would never even know what's happening, though, would they? Possibly. I, I don't know. Yeah. It's on the DNR's yeah. website. Exactly. The DNR may have a website they post on. them on. I don't know. Don't so. worry. Some people will speak up. Don't In the last that. year, I noticed there were several of them where there was major issues of no addresses and close to water pools or, you know, where water drains and everything. So a person would never be able to bring that up if they don't have that would issues. That would be true. And that wouldn't be good for representation so. of Harden County. So it's, it's still being considered and it will be on the agenda um, prior to, to January 31st so that we, we would know either way. Well, what, what's, what's, I don't understand what's the big issue because I called in last <coughs> week already. So you had the whole week to figure this mm -hmm. out. Daryl's been at a seminar most of this week or at a training or whatever. He's, Daryl's been gone most of this week. He's still gone. And with his schedule and my schedule, um, and I don't know if these guys have talked to him or need to talk to him, but so, but, so what, but it, it will be on b what before. What is your big issue? Because I mean, if, if you put it on the agenda and you pass it, you still have the opportunity to speak your issues on it or you know for it or against it or whatever you still have it so what's what's the hold up if i'm just conferring with the county attorney at this point in time so, so whether this, whether i whether this all this time and it's taking you all this time well, we have a lot of other things than just the matrix going on, so. I realize this, but this matrix is one thing, mm -hmm. and you have time to do all these others, but this one thing, you don't have time to No, do. I have this no written procedures, and I, am, I personally want to change how all of the comments are received, length of time for comments, um, and who presents comments, which all, all of you are from Hardin County. Um, just in the past, just seeing what's happening in other counties, I don't think it's a, uh, something that people from out of county need to be coming to Hardin County to make comments regarding our facilities. This is just my personal opinion. And I want some of these things kind of cleared up, um, clarified in a new public hearing policy. And that's... So, well, who's to say, look what happens in Story County when they have over a thousand people show up. I, you know, it's, who's to say that's not going to happen here. I, I just want to make some, possibly make some changes. That's why you need to pass it, so. Julie. The water that flows through this county flows into other counties and eventually flows into the Mississippi River. So everyone in this state and south has an interest in what happens here in different counties in Iowa. Mm -hmm. So they should have a say. And you can go ahead and change whatever you want, but people will still speak up. They will not stop. Thank you. <laughs> this Iowa River goes through many, many counties. I realize that. And people drink from this Iowa River. They'll so be Hardin, able to take it up with the DNR. Hardin County right. has broken. Maybe if people <laughs> would send their comments to the DNR, maybe people. there would be, or legislators, that's where comments <laughs> need to go. I want you to sign okay. it so we can bring it. The legislatures and say, we don't have to. We don't have to pass it in order for you to do that. Now we need the DNR okay. To do something with it. Any other business? Nope. I don't have anything, Renee. Move to adjourn. Will you have Second. There next week Second. Second. All right. All those in favor, say aye. 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 aye.